Hey, what is going on all my fellow athletes and Warframe enthusiasts around the world? This is Vance, bringing you yet another Reforged video in the God Build series. Now, I can't seem to understand why Zephyr keeps losing these votes to Banshee and Frost and all these other frames when she's really an interesting frame, especially after the rework. I mean, she's probably the most ideal Warframe for the Plains of Eidolon. And I've got a new build that will definitely serve you justice on those planes. Now for mods, I'm going to be using Rejuvenation, Agility Drift, Prime Continuity, Vitality, Constitution, Narrow Minded, Funnel Clouds, Jet Stream, Overextended, and Prime Flow. Now we don't have a whole lot of strength here, 40%, not a big deal whatsoever. But the duration is way up to 282%. If you're wondering why that is, it's because we want our turbulence to be on as long as possible because they will help with projectile speed uh, which is going to help our primary weapon excel and on top of that the funnel clouds are really nice I mean I don't know if digital extremes intended it to be this way but it often operates like a magnetize from mags uh, arsenal and it's really wonderful the way that it synergizes with some of these weapons so I will be showing that later on but for now just know that you want to keep these funnel clouds going as long as possible along with the jet stream overextended to give us some range and then everything else is self-explanatory here you want to heal as much as you can you want to reduce damage while you're airborne and then uh, again like I showcased with the Banshee Reforge you have your arcane victory your arcane grace one is health return that uh, stacks cumulatively as you're getting damaged and one is procced by headshots so let's get into the weapons and showcase why this reforged is so much better than the initial god builds so for uh, primary weapons uh, I normally don't regard Zar as god tier uh, in fact in any other case I would say Zar is garbage uh, just because it, it does not put out the damage that it, it should uh, but as I mentioned previously, uh, the funnel clouds function very similar to mags magnetize. Oftentimes, uh, projectiles will get caught in the middle of the vortexes, and when they are entangled, they do a lot more damage for whatever the reason. Especially with hunter munitions here, which uh, upon a critical hit has a 30% chance to apply a slash proc, which will bleed them out. So you have damage being done accumulatively over time. By the hunting munitions, the slash proccing, and the clouds themselves. So all in all, it's even if it doesn't one-shot anything that you hit, it will bleed them out very quickly with damage over time, which is incredible. And that's the the sole purpose as to why I am using Zar and why I wouldn't use it with anybody else. Now, because Zar is self-damaging and it's not good for close-range combat, I would resort to using the Act Volto Prime, uh, primarily because they function really nice with turbulence, they, their projectile speed is sped up, and oftentimes they will too get caught in the tornadoes, and also because it's pretty accurate when aiming for heads. You know, oftentimes you want to proc that arcane victory to get your health back in the event that your turbulence didn't protect you from health damage, so here is a really nice reason to use the Act Volto Prime. Now for melees, I'm going to go with Oma, and that's because um, I don't I don't ever really use melee with Zephyr. I don't really have to, but in the event that maybe my energy is drained because energy consumption is a big problem with this build, uh, especially around like Eximus Leech units. I think that I'm going to resort to Oma primarily because it does good damage, it does good finisher damage, it's just all around a good damaging weapon, it's perfect for Zephyr, it's perfect for um, being like coming out of the air and doing a ground pound, shocking them, stun locking them, uh, following up with a good combo, it's just, it's just a really good choice for this particular loadout, uh, however if you wanted to use anything else in the world, uh, I would maybe use like like a Prova Vandal or Twin Basalt, um, something that does uh, initial damage upon uh, ground attack. 
Now the Sentinel is no big deal here. Um, I'm primarily using Dariga because of all of its range, and in the event that I do get close to enemies, well, it's got that arc coil that will stun lock them. Because the number one kryptonite with Zephyr is melee. If enemies get too close to you, they will do too much damage to you, and you you need to avoid that at all costs. So Dariga will help with that, plus the fact that Dariga can snipe, meaning that, um, well, it's going to hit enemies from a long distance. I'm using Stinger Ray here to apply status and poison as we mentioned before she has a little bit of dot damage which this is gonna boost it up a little bit more and that's always nice. Uh, again no big deal with the Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel of choice isn't really important to this loadout it's really just the weapon choice that synergizes well with the powers. Uh, this is my go-to frame for any long distance engagements uh, when it comes to Plains Vitalon. Uh, she gets around so quickly, she's so much fun, I can't see why the community isn't more interested in her than what she is. However, once you get into this setup and you see how phenomenal it is, you two will be interested the way that I have. I mean, she's quickly risen to one of my favorite frames in the entire game, and that's saying something considering the fact that when I did the initial god builds for her, I wasn't the slightest bit interested in her. So if you like this video and learned something from it, do as I always recommend that you do. Comment, share, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications from me on the fly, and until next time, this is Vance, signing off. Sayonara.